The race between President Uhuru Kenyatta and opposition leader Raila Odinga is projected to be tight. Some argue the candidates haven't stopped campaigning since the last election in 2013 that also pitted them against each other. So there's a sense in which uh, the elections have uh, occupied uh, the collective national consciousness of uh, the Kenyan citizen and uh, the voter. So it's a big deal. But there is more than the presidency on the ballot. Research analyst Tom Wolf believes that the 47 county races are generating at least as much buzz as the presidential contest. Definitely more so than in 2013, he says. But many Kenyans, and we've seen this in our polling data, did not fully understand or appreciate just how, how much power or responsibility was being devolved from the center to the regions, through the counties. So if you go and travel around the counties now, um, you will see as much if not more campaign activity that's associated directly for the contest for governor as there is for the presidency. The organization of the polls has been a source of tension for more than a year, sparking opposition protests and several court battles. Complicating matters is the recent killing of the Electoral Commission's technology chief, Chris Masando, whose autopsy results show he was tortured and strangled. Masando was responsible for the electronic voter identification and vote transmission systems. There's every possibility of uh, people tying that uh, passing on uh, to the elections and to the possibility that there could be foul play. Remember, we are not saying that uh, there's definitively uh, anything like that, but uh, the context opens up uh, space for that kind of speculation. And against the backdrop of the election season, Kenyans are still suffering from problems resulting from a regional drought emergency, like food insecurity and high food prices. There's a lot of serious challenges uh, facing the people of this country, so uh, I'm, I'm hoping for a strong outcome for of, with elected politicians who will take their job seriously and really perform for the people who are electing them. As campaigning wrapped up, youth took to the streets of Eldoret to march for peace. Kenya's Rift Valley region was the epicenter of the post-election violence in 2007 and 2008 that killed more than 1,000 people and displaced over half a million. Kenyans hope these elections will be violence-free. Jill Craig, VOA News, Nairobi.